Hello everyone! Sorry I meant to make videos yesterday but it was storming so much that you wouldn't have been able to hear me. So here I am today continuing on a little bit with, with homemade stencils, found stencils. Um, I should have shown this weeks ago but I wasn't ready to and now it's too late. Um, this page was sprayed with Easter egg dyes. I got packages just like the kids did and I um, followed the directions. I put a little less water in it but it's got vinegar in it and it's just the regular egg dye. Um, and maybe it's still on sale, get it really really cheap. But I put the dye in these little mister bottles and I did this and then I splattered a little bit on top. So it does make a good color. It's a little bit more pastel but we don't want everything to be really really bold. Um, I don't know how light fast it is um, but it works really well. So um, one idea to get some inks, some sprays without spending a bunch of money. Um, I don't know, like I said, I don't know how light fast they are. And just while I'm thinking about stamps, um, I forgot to mention um, dice for stamping. Um, they, they work um, and they're interesting so um, you could try dice. This one's not working real well. It doesn't want to pick up the ink. But anyway, dice. Um, and also, when you're doing homemade stamps, you might also want to think about um, string. String uh, wrapped around cardboard makes great lines, um, and you can do it any any which way. So just to keep that in mind. Um, and also, string, you can, and I just did this one, um, I laid um, a line of Elmer's glue and put the string in there in a spiral shape. I flattened it down with uh, the back of a stamp so that it would be flat, and I will leave that to dry, and we will test it when it's dry. We will test that later, but string is also a great way to make designs and stuff. Um, so there's that. Um, and another way to make sprays is with your um, acrylic paints. This one is a metallic, because I like metallic. Um, and all you need is one of those mister bottles. Put some of that paint in there. Oops, that's probably too much. Um, I'm going to make a very small batch, so I'm putting just a little bit in. And then all you need to do is add some water. I probably shouldn't do this over my page. Add some water. This is um, room temperature water. And you want to make sure your paints are consistency of water so it goes through the nozzle. I'm going to put just a tad bit more. And I'm going to put the lid on and shake it up real good. I probably should put the lid lid on so I don't make a whole horrible mess. And I always leave pieces of paper book pages down underneath to catch any color and this is the kind of stuff that I use for collage and stuff later so I always like to keep as much color as possible so that's what that looks like I think it's about the right consistency let's try on a page and I am going to stencil over This is another clementine thing, little diamonds, 
Maybe I should suit something a little bit, a little bit heavier. Let me do cross stitch mesh. This is just regular plastic cross stitch stuff. Did I take the lid off? Nope. Taking the lid off and spraying it on and you have your own homemade stamps or stencils or spray paint or whatever you want to do. Um, I kind of want this to dry but I don't want to waste all this paint. So I'm just going to put it right here because there's a lot of paint on there. So, oh well, I've already ruined that page so let's continue on with this one. So that is um, mesh. You can spray through that and your homemade acrylic metallic paints or whatever kind of um, acrylic paints you have. So another thing, of course we've all done the, the letters, All kids all have the letters and stuff. Another one that I like is the bottom of the box of pennies. When you're at work and you get um, change, um, if you work in that kind of a place, this came in the pennies box. And I have quite a few of them, I save them every time I find them. Um, and it makes great polka dots. So I'm just going to use another different. Actually, I should use my Easter egg dye one. So, what usually makes polka dots. Um, this pro dye is probably too wet. So that's something else. And another thing that you can do for spraying is, and let's get to an empty page so we can see what's going on. My book doesn't want to lay flat. You can spray over fun stuff. Here's some paper clips and safety pins. Oops. If my book would lie flat, it would save my fingers from getting inky and yucky holding it down. So. I should have some water to, to put these all in, but it makes an interesting design. Voila! I should clean those all off. These are have seen better days. They're, they've lost their finish. Um, and there's a lot of ink on there, so I'm going to take one of my pages take some of that off so I have it someplace else where I can use it eventually. So that is paper clips and safety pins. You can also use rubber bands for circles and another one that I have used are the twisty ties from the bread these are actually from um, some electronics of some sort, so they're larger, but get those out there. We'll use, we'll use this spray. It seems to dry faster a little bit. So then you've got little circles. Actually, it's pretty wet, so let me just press some of that off. And you've got circles, random circles. You could put those little twisty ties into different shapes, S's or something else. Um, all kinds of different shapes you can do with that. 
So there's that one. I like the, those. Those are fun. Do it another time with a different color. It would be great. And this one I actually got from Cat Hand. She came up with this and I went immediately to the hardware store. It is drywall tape. This one has adhesive on the back, so after I spray it, I can um, just put it on the page without too much um, fuss and muss. I'm going to cut off a piece of it and lay it down. I'll use some of this green. She, um, she stencils with this makeup sponge with acrylic paint or... You know, you can do anything like this. Um, I have Punchinella, like three little pieces, but I don't want to use it because I can't find it in any stores. And I don't shop online, so... And if I was to hold it there better, it would show up a whole lot better, but it makes a great stencil. And then, when you get it all nice and painted, take the adhesive off and put it on the page. Great stuff. Thank you, Cat Hand, for that one. Um, there was some other stuff, and now I don't remember what it was. Here's our little shelf liner stuff. We'll spray that over here. Sometimes these spray bottles don't want to spray. So... So that's the spray. Um, is there anything else? It seems like there's a ton of stuff I wanted to show, and this isn't all of it, but I'm forgetting what else I needed to show you guys. So I've got some more time. I should play some more. So... Um, Do some bubble wrap. This spray does not want to spray. I like bubble wrap. Bubble wrap is one of my favorites. I have a lot of favorites, I know. I know, I'm a crazy person. Lots of favorites. But I like the way that looks. Is that my... Here's a butterfly. It's a piece of metal that I took off of something. Just look around and find things to use as stencils. And that is got a ton of ink on it. Can I... Turn it around. Yeah, a little bit. It kind of it kind of lost it there. Well, that kind of smeared it a little bit. It's nice that the color is actually going off the edge of the page. I like that. Like that. I have to clean that off later. Um, what else have we got? Oh, I know what else I wanted to show you with sprays. Sprays are really a lot of fun. And let's get a nice clean page out. And a yellow crayon. And we're going to get out the flip-flop. And we're going to do... A rubbing of the flip-flop. We're going to do a random rubbing so it goes off the edge a little bit. Some on this side. I should probably take this page out so I can get the middle of it. And I guess that's what I'm going to do. And get some good wax on there.
Okay. And then I'm going to take my Easter egg die. And if you notice where the wax is, it beads up because it acts as a resist. Great way to put some texture on your pages. I'm going to get all the sides since I can. And I should probably rub it against the, um, something else. Here's a piece of map. Get some of that color off of there. See how that, if I leave it to spray like that, the little dots will dry in that way. So I'm going to leave it that way and I'm going to put it on the side so you can see how it dries. Where do I put it? It's messy. I know where I can put it. So, oops. So that is sprays and stuff. I do like sprays. They are very messy though. I'm getting spray everywhere. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? So I think that's it right now for what I can remember for what I wanted to show for sprays. I always try to use up all my ink. So I guess I'm going to make a short video on all that. And of course I'll come back with all the things that I forgot because I know there's a million things that I forgot to show you. Oh. Yes, there is. Feathers. Feathers are fabulous. Let's put them on this page. Red. Red. Let's just use this one. We're running out of time, so. And you've got feather shapes. I love stencils. I love masks, whatever you want to call them. Um, I like the way they look. So I'm making this book really messy. And I've got this ink that I don't know what to do with. I could probably paint with it. Anyway, so we're about done with our time. So thanks for watching.